Miss Minacci, this is your daughter-in-law. Yes, it is. She's married to your son. Would that be this gentleman Steven, over here? Stephen, yes. And Mr. Menendez, he is a person with whom your daughter-in-law has two sons. Yes. Subsequent to those two sons being born, your daughter-in-law married your son, and they have one child together. Yes. A little girl. At some point in October of last year, you received a phone call that Child Protective Services were going to take the children away from your daughter-in-law, and I assume your son as well, Yes. because of a drug problem. Right. And you were asked to step in and take custody of the three children. Right. Which you did for a period of time. I still have oh. two of them. Which two? I have the baby and the... Which baby? Um, their child together. And then I have um, the eight-year-old boy, which is their child. The 10-year-old boy became totally unmanageable for me. He was aggressive to the other children. He ended up in a behavioral health unit for 10 days. And January, I had to give him up. He's now in a therapeutic foster home. So in 2016, the two boys were with you October, November, and December. When in October did they come October to you? October 10th. And what you're complaining about is that Mr. Menendez claimed the two boys on his tax returns for the year 2016. Right. And I don't know why, because he had didn't see them in that year. He has not paid a I penny. Don't, I oh. don't know why either. Stop moving pages, except that you only had the children for a little more than two and a half months in the year 2016. Right. I don't know who supported them prior to that time in 2016. Let's find out. My son and Carmela. Let's find out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where were you working in 2016? I was working as a personal care assistant. Full-time or part-time? I was part-time. Did you receive any welfare? Food stamps, yes. Did you receive any subsidized housing from? No. So only food stamps, for whom? Um, for me, my husband, and the children. And what kind of work did your husband do in all of 2016? He was the manager of Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Prior to 2016, who claimed the two boys on their tax returns? I did. Is that correct? Correct. Now, is there currently a child support order that you are currently paying? Yes. How much? $50 a week. And when did that go into effect? 2000. 16. Not that he's paid Shut one up. penny of it. Just, just a second. Okay. Right now, part of that money is being subsidized by the government. Right. Do you understand that? Yes. So, prior to 2016, what was your support order? We didn't have one because I had custody of the kids prior to 2016. In what year did you cease to have custody of the children? 2016. What month? June. What you're telling me is January... February, March, April, May. Those five months, the two boys lived with you. Two boys didn't live with me at that time, no, because they were, were going back and forth with court in Connecticut. Who did they live with? Carmelo. So in January, February, March, April, and May, the boys lived with their mother. Yeah. That would be a yes, and you had no support order. Correct. In 2000. 15, where do the boys live? With me at my aunt's house. Is that all of 2015? Yes. Is that correct? No. In what months did the two boys live with Mr. Mendez and his aunt? Um, January 2015 to June 2015. So for six months. Mm -hmm. And what about in 2014? He had them. He had them full time? Yes. And when did you and Mr. Mendez Physically separate. Like divorced, you mean? Physically well, separate. Physically you separate. Not divorced. You were never married. Yeah. I'm trying to go back. So 2014, Mr. Mendez had physical custody of the children. He had physical custody of the children also the first half of 2015, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Okay. 2013, who did they live with? Josh. With their father. Yes. I'm beginning to see a pattern here.